What time is it? It's science time. So let's actually build a rubber band cup racer. We're gonna take this idea of potential energy that's stored in the rubber band when we twist it and turn it into kinetic energy, energy in motion, so that we can actually have these racers. Well, you'll have a racer that you can race with friends and family at home. So we have our materials and it doesn't really matter what size rubber band you have. My only recommendation is that you have two of the same. So I have these red ones, these yellow ones, these brown ones, and we're going to simply just pick two of them. I'm gonna go with red because you can see them through the cups really easily. So I have my two rubber bands, and I'm gonna start with these plastic cups. These cups also have lids on them, so you're gonna want two cups that have lids because that's going to allow you to seal it and to connect everything together. So the first thing we do, whoop, the first thing we do is we poke a hole in the center and I'm using a push pin because I can grab onto it and put a little hole in the bottom of both of these. I'm gonna take a pair of scissors and I'm going to make the hole bigger. I'm twist that so I get a nice hole to put the rubber band through. You wanna to try to get it in the center as much as possible because we're gonna run these rubber bands through here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna stack them. All right, I think we'll be okay. And then we're gonna take a piece of tape. Got some blue tape, take a nice long piece, and I'm going to connect these two right in the center. And let's make sure we're rolling. Yeah, look at that. And set that over to the side just for a second. And now comes the part where we have to connect two rubber bands. And the way we do that is we take one rubber band and we pull it through like this. And then we go underneath the same part. Whoa, magic. <laughs> that didn't work. All right, so I have my two rubber bands and I'm going to pull the one rubber band through just like this, I'm gonna hold it. And now I'm gonna pull this one through underneath. There we go. And now, the most difficult part of the day, getting this through here. And I'm gonna use my pencil to help guide it. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. All right. I'm gonna keep the pencil in there just for a second because it's gonna help um, prevent the rubber band from shooting through. I'm going to put a lid on this side here in just a second but I have to bring this rubber band through here. I'm gonna bring it through the hole on my lid, just like that. And now on this side, I'm just gonna put a paper clip like that, just to hold it, just for a second. All right, and that's gonna keep the rubber band from shooting back through because we're actually stretching it and it's starting to stretch and it's starting to store energy because we're stretching it and it's going to want to actually uh, rip out. So now that I have this one, I'm gonna pull my pencil out. Just like that. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna push this through the opening. Whoops. Pop that on. And we're going to take a paper clip and we're gonna hold it in place. And so now we have the insides ready to go. So we have the engine, which is the rubber bands. And when we get the rubber bands to spin, it stores up energy. But right now it's gonna be hard to spin it. So what we have to also do on this side, so you're gonna pick one of the sides and you're gonna take one of these washers And I'm also gonna take one of these pony beads. Let's see, orange, my favorite color. I'm gonna pull that through. And now I'm going to take a straw. I'm using, it's a jumbo straw. I have other straws too, just in case, because I'm not sure how the jumbo straw is gonna work. I'm gonna put that there to hold it. And then I'm gonna pull that out. I'm gonna pull that paper clip out. Oh, I'm nervous because it's pulling in. So we'll see how this works. But now, 
Look at that. We have our car. And you're wondering, how do we get it to work? Well, you have to wind up one side. And you can keep winding and winding. And then when you set it down, <laughs> can you send that back? <laughs> Come back my little car. That's so awesome. And look, when I take it off, it spins a little bit because that's the stored energy in the rubber band. So that is a really easy and fun way to build a rubber band car racer. And here's the thing. If you have more than one, you can race them with your friends and family. Three, two, one. Whoa, whoa, he was going the wrong way. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. Thanks for being part of our crew today and checking out this short clip from DIY Science Time. If you like this clip and you wanna see more exciting science, check out the full versions right here on the channel. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more exciting DIY science time.